How to remarry someone after talaq e bid'a is allowed? Assalamu alaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. This is a very sensitive matter because we have uh, we had this problem in our society and is being uh, spreading and has been destroying uh, many many uh, families. When it comes to a divorce, there's a many many questions that every scholar has to ask the woman and the man. If he uttered uh, three times or the ten times that is considered as a one but even that is being considered as a one if not three in one sitting but still a scholar has to ask a long list of questions to understand the situation and understand how it was being said and what was the situation and what was going on not just by listening uh, to the client that okay he, someone uttered like three times and that is over and somebody uttered a one time and that is affected one time but rather a scholar has to ask long little questions uh, to the brother or the sister if even if it is affected one mm -hmm. the scholar has to ask a question was it she in a menses and uh, and after she get purified after the men uh, did they have a sexual intercourse or did they have an Indian type of an intima intimacy and uh, when they did they have that and did they uh, what about somebody divorce and after having an intersexual intercourse so this is many many questions you have, the person has the, the scholar has to ask the public but rather than not giving a directly opinion but rather uh, you have to go through all the list of questions then come to the conclusion or oh, this was affected or not affected now something many scholars have different opinions is the conference between the remaining groups of the scholars and some of them the talaq something like a bit of talaq bit of talaq something like someone uttered a three uh, divorce is the one sitting and also the lucky is something like somebody divorced in the time of the menses and also the lucky is something like a uh, uh, the talaq after an independence or sexual intercourse all this talaq uh, let, let's understand something the prophet was very uh, clearly said he used to say that in every juma khutbah he used to say all the 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 activities all the things or the things or the ibadahs or any activities that is against the sunnah it is being rejected and all the rejections will lead to the hellfire so when the prophet surrounds him every bidda is unacceptable then how the slack and bidda would be accepted now they would say okay that's fine it is being accepted but the quran says <laughs> The talaq means like the talaq in two times and that is into the different occasions because the Quran says the, the Quran is talking about the occasion the Quran is not talking about something if somebody uttered other word two times and if someone says the third time and it will be over is something the Quran is not talking about the Quran is saying that you have a two chances you have uh, two chances it, even it's it's for a uh, wife even if you it's for husband also so they, they both have two chances either you can reconcile and stay in a limitation if you cannot stay a limitation or to or or keep the the wife into with the respect or you can let her go but rather not to force the relation to go more further into the disputes or fights or the domestic problems or anything but rather even keep it up okay if not so let it let it go so talaq is not accepted even somebody wants to give the talaq they have to do the proper way and every time of the period it has to be issued so if somebody wants to do the marrying after talaq is so the question already solved talaq is not accepted so there's no need of remarrying all you have to do is reju and also even someone has an issue of talaq or even it's affected at one time also the scholar has to go through it how was it affected was it uh uh, done at the time of the menses and it was a time of uh, after the intercourse or before the intercourse so the scholar has to go all through questions and then he has to issue his opinion then he has to accept even even one is affected or not affected and those uh, groups who, uh, who thinks that the, it's, it's the lucky vida but it is affected and uh, is it allowed to remarry that woman in the uh, according to the quran and according to the sahih hadith and opinions 
uh, the thalak has, is affected only one time and also it depends on if it is affected or not affected but if it is affected then that is not even thalak abidah even it's a thalak abidah you do it in the time of the menses that is the time of the menses somebody issued the thalak that is not affected in thalak abidah um, so there is no need of uh, remarrying after thalak abidah so you have to do go or you go back to your husband the thalak has not been affected but if it is affected then you can do that there is no need of doing a remarrying